Provide even more hard engage for the classic live sandbox style. This is a bit more proactive than the Oriana. Personally, I like this a lot more. Yeah, I, uh, I love Gragas as well into Diana. Um, if she uses, you know, her uh, her E after she used the reset at E, yep. then it can get her out of the fray. Also, if you can predict when she's going to throw out the ultimate and get a barrel in there, then she can look a little bit silly, uh, which is certainly going to be good news. T1 thinking about heading towards a Lulu, which is uh, making me feel like we are going to get the lease in center bottom lane. Of course, Faker, the most famous Lulu player in the universe. Assuming uh, League of Legends isn't on a scuttle, it's because it's going to get that ward in at exactly the right time. Croco now in a little bit of trouble. Bear Slap comes out. Now the Flash has to be used. Cuz's going to follow him as well. Throws out the E. He's going to land the Q as he's ran out of gap close. And now Croco's in trouble. Glitterlance comes on through and Faker gets the first blood. Fate now in a whole bunch of trouble. As Kana looks for the Shock Blast, but the Haymaker is going to be there. Good fake face breaker as well as uh, Faker's just... Yeah, he's getting a lot of help. Effort with the roams, but first, uh -huh. let's take a look at this play. Just carry. too easy. And that's the also a big one. We saw how high the first Herald percentage was, as oh, a lot of action possible here. Yeah, in goes Effort. Great body slam onto the two members as Teddy's going to have to flash away, but Croco's right over the top. This is going to be the first kill for Liv Sandbox. As in goes Fate, not going to get rewarded for it. It's because it's going to have to run away, but now Kana's in trouble. There's the ult right into the wall as Fate does have the face breaker, so Kana ain't getting out of this one. The flash comes on in, but the follow is going to be there. So Liv Sandbox evening out the kills nicely. And also, they don't have their Lee Sin King. As Kerry is in here, that is going to be the Rift Herald secured by Liv Sandbox. Cuz also going to be taken down. Kerry gets the heck out of there. And T1 making a couple of whoopsies. Not traditionally where they excel, and it, as already pointed out, yet again, comes through the man in the bot lane. As Kana might be in deep trouble here. Yeah, Fate gets behind him. That's going to be the odd. He was waiting for the to the skies. I like it, but the hammer is going to come back. Now Fate doesn't have his gap closed, but Effort does, and he's going to be able to push Kanner into that dead turret very comfortably. Uppercutted by the set, as that is the kick flash. Prince trying to get away. Does have a lot of mobility as the Dawning Shadow comes forward, and Kerry is, of course, able to lock down that kill. Damn, this... Must feel so cool for Dan. And that's okay, you know, it's, it's yeah, not yeah. a bad nap. Um, but, but the nap's got to be over, and starting the Baron as good a call as any. Exactly. Liv Sandbox, no vision of this area whatsoever. I believe they do have a tr uh, blue trinket to throw out. They have some idea that this is happening, but it looks like it's going to be a turn from T1 as Kuz, pretty happy just to continue fighting this Baron. There it is, Liv Sandbox, the jig is up on T1, but they want this fight by the looks of things as in goes Carrier, gets the kick back onto Prince, not going to be able to just take him out though, as Fate also in a bunch of trouble, Dawning Shadow comes in, Carrier gets over that wall, Prince has to flash to get himself out of the way, and now Carrier is the one in trouble, he's going to get taken out, the Ezreal starting to pop off in the fight, but as I say it, Kana just dives on top of him, and it's looking pretty over here. It's a triple kill for Kana so far. That wallop was phenomenal, but it's not going to be enough to help them here as it's not the Penta, but it is the ace here for T1. And a really nice fight by T1 there. And there we see the value of all these shields, all the sustain in these longer fights, the Senna and the Lulu. Because he gets backed up by the Dawning Shadow. There is more damage available for T1 after one carry does manage to go down. As there's a kickback onto Summit. It's a bit of an awkward situation there as Dawning Shadow will get some extra damage as Wild Growth comes through. Summit's trying to do his very best to stop Carrier from jumping on top of him. Good body block there from Effort as Carrier seeing what he could do. There's the Q. That one's going to land. But now Carrier might have bitten off more. But no, the rest of T1 are going to... And at this point in time, look at the range that Teddy has. A heal Mary engage from yeah. Fate. Oh, yeah. Fate was yeah. unable to quite get there as Carrier is going to get taken down very, very low. Gore Drinker is busted. He's still alive, for goodness sake. As Cuz gets out eventually, Faker has teleported in. That's a decent showstopper there as the GA has been brought out. The slow will land as well. Effort, oh, actually not quite able to do so as now Faker's the one in trouble and he's running away. So, uh, you know, a bit of yakety sacks here towards that the might end. Be soul. It might be. And they have sorted out their minion waves. We'll see whether it's going to be enough to allow them to actually put on any sort of defense as the Baron's down to half. Looks like T1 are looking for a bit of a turn. There's a teleport in effort already down to half. Good shock blast from Kana as Kuz gets himself out of the Baron pit. Baron down very, very low, but will reset. As now T1 set up the Phalanx and look to see whether they can get a, a team fight started. Effort, a bunch of trouble as Carrier looking for these Sonic Waves. 
looking for a way to start off a fight, but lack of Flank. engage issue again could be a problem as in goes Fate. There's the showstopper as Liv's Sandbox has started it on their own terms. Watch Prince, see whether he can keep himself safe as the wild growth's not enough. The Nar is massive into the wall from Summit and Fate is locking them down. Prince still at full health as Terrier desperately tries to get on top of him, but now desperately tries to get away from the fight. Fake is not going to be able to do it against this. Uh, Ezreal, unfortunately, has no mana, uses the last of it to get a bit skippy here and get away, but he's not going to be able to. As Summit's fighting Teddy, may not necessarily be able to win out here. We'll see who's going to be able to get on top. As Teddy has absolutely no mana, unfortunately, and it will be the Nar that takes him down. No that way. is going to be the ace, and I think Liv Sandbox may have just done it. It was a one game, Atlas. The Nexus was open. Yep. Yep, these things happen, right? Sometimes you you take a fight towards the end, you feel like it's all done and dusted, and Live Sandbox, they do not let it happen. Their win condition, that was Prince, was never under any threat in that last team fight. And Live Sandbox, they stuck to their guns, and they will take game one against T1. What a performance here from Live Sandbox. This is a team. Oh, 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 oh,